Coming up first, Elijah and Jaden show you everything you need to know to get started with diving. They show you masks, spears, and a bunch more diving gear. Aloha everybody, I'm going to show you the basics and the extras you need for diving here in Hawaii. These are the fins I used to use. These are church hills. They're mainly used for bodyboarding, but I use them for diving. The only bad part about them is it's kind of hard to fight the current with these ones. Is these fins from Hammerhead. They're three times the size and three times more efficient. They allow you to get more further with each kick and allow you to save a lot more energy. When you usually use bigger fins, you use fin socks. Fin socks make it so that your feet are warm and comfortable and they don't get blisters. And they also allow you to put your feet easily in and take it out without messing up the rubber. This is the mask that I used to use. It's pretty good and it's just all you got, it's all you got. But now I got this mask. It's an amber mask and allows you to see more easier in the water. It provides more contrast. But that's just my preference and other people might not think the same. This is the mask that my dad used. It's 12 years old and has a bilge. The bilge allows you to blow out the water way easier than having to go all the way up the tube. My mom and my sister use this to help with their hair. Since they have long hair, it usually gets stuck in the back of their mask. So when they use this, it doesn't get stuck as easy. This is the spear that we use. It's a three prong sling. We added two different types of grips. One is electric tape and one is rope. The grips allow you to, when you're holding the sling, to grip it way easier than without having the grip. One of the most important things for diving is the floater. You're required by law to have a floater with a flag. It's a safety thing. People have been killed by boaters when the boaters couldn't see their flag. Our floater allows us to put our catches, which are usually bloody, into here without attracting predators like sharks. Sometimes in an emergency, we can hang on to it and not have to worry about sharks trying to get us. We use this string and lead. What we, we, what we usually do is drop the lead and swim around in a good area that we find for taco diving. So this is your basic setup. Fins, snorkel and mask, spear, and a floater with a flag. Another thing that will make it a whole lot more comfortable is wetsuits. One benefit about wetsuits is that it keeps you warm. Another one is that when you're in shallow waters and you get scraped by the reef, you don't actually get scraped. And then another one is you don't get stung by man waters where the wetsuit is. This is the top half of the wetsuit. This is way better than nothing because it keeps your arms and your chest warm, but it's not as better as this one. This is the next level up. This one keeps you warmer because it also has the bottom half of the wetsuit. Because this keeps your arms, your, uh, your chest, and then your legs, but not your full legs. But the best overall one is the full one. So this is the full one. It has the arms, long sleeves, the body, the full entire body, and then like pretty much pants. 
And these are the three main wetsuits that you might have. Mahalo. If you like the video, click the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell for a notification. Here I am hooked up to a nice size yellowtail. It's pulling me towards the front of the boat. This is a big fish. I can't believe how hard it is to reel.